going to talk about the story of Noah and the ark. Last week, you might remember, we talked about how God created all that is. And when God finished every section of creation, he said, and it was good. Well, people started to do some bad things. And God decided to send a great flood of water to clean up everything and to make it new again. So, God knew that there was a very special family. And he called upon them to help him. First, he called Noah and told Noah of his great plans. In the Bible, Noah's wife doesn't have a name, but tradition gives her a name, Nama, which means the bearer of seeds. And supposedly in her apron, she had seeds that would help plant all kinds of things all over the world. And Noah had three sons. And his three sons had three wives. So this whole family would help God to make all things new. So God told Noah and his family to build a big ark. That took them quite a while, and God gave them very specific directions. And then, when the ark was finished, God told Noah and his wife and children to fill the ark with animals from all over the world, two of each kind. So let's put all of these wonderful animals into the ark. These are only some of the many kinds of animals, but we'll let them represent all the animals. Right now, it's still sunny out, so everybody's enjoying being out on the deck. But when the rains came, everybody went inside. I wonder what it was like inside of all those animals. Something like a big zoo. And I'm sure that Noah and his family had prepared everything to make them as comfortable as possible during that time. But you could only be so comfortable in an ark with all these other animals while well, there's a big storm outside. Well, the rain just kept on coming and the waters rose and rose and rose up. Finally, it began to stop raining and the waters started to recede. Then God sent a great wind to dry up the water. And God said to Noah to send out a dove. Now this dove is a lot bigger than it would be compared to these animals, but at least you can see it. And the dove went out to see if there was anything green that it could land on. And it came back to Noah because they didn't find anything the first time. And then God waited, I mean, Noah waited seven days and sent the dove out again to try to find some tree to land on, and that would show Noah that it was time to leave the ark. Well, that second time, the dove came back empty-handed as well. But the third time, another seven days later, Doug came back with an olive branch. And then went back out into the wild and did not come back at all. So then, you guessed it, it was time for everybody to leave the ark. 
Noah and Nama, his three sons and their wives, and all the animals and back to where they came from and some of them stayed. They were the kind of animals that helped build a community, like oxen and horses, and dogs and cats and cows, lions and tigers probably went back to where they came from, and the camels stayed to help. So all the creatures came out of the ark, and they were happy to be home again, and that they could help. They had to say their prayers. All the people had to say their prayers and say how happy they were and say thank you to God. So suddenly, after giving thanks, something really special happened. What do you think God sent as a way to say, I love you and never again will I destroy everything if you make me angry. I've made all things new and in our new relationship we will make a covenant to love one another and to never need to do that again. So every time that we see a rainbow in the sky, after a big rain, we can remember God's promise to all people everywhere that never again would God send a flood. So I wonder if you have any questions. I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I think I like the rainbow part best. I wonder if you were in the story, what character you'd like to be? Hmm. I think I'd like to be Nama, who got to plant seeds after everybody left the ark and start things growing again. Now, I wonder what you're going to do with the rest of your day. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time at the Godly Play Classroom.